Good morning. Actually, it's afternoon time. It's 1240. It's Saturday. We, we as in me and Amanda are going to Brooklyn. And then tonight, I think we're going to go to this like a club. If you watched my last vlog, you know that I listened to TED Talks. And yesterday I listened to one that really really just hit home it was called the power of vulnerability i'll link it down below she talked about how they did this survey and the finding was that all the people who were reported to be like happy and comfortable in their lives were also the people who had accepted all the things that might bring them shame so like all the little things that you hide about yourself because you know you don't want people to look at you differently you're scared that you're gonna get shamed for it the root of the problem is shame because shame leads to ostracization and as humans we are wired with a desire to belong to a group and because like we needed that for survival back in like the caveman days and like hunter gatherer vibes you know and then she went on to say that the best way to you know control shame is to start by accepting all the things that make you you and she said that the main way to like combat shame is by practicing self-compassion. Most of the time, people are like knee deep worried about their own problems and they're not even thinking about you and how you come across. So if everyone's just thinking about how they look and how you know they're being perceived, then no one's actually sitting there and perceiving other people because everyone's just worried about themselves. So if you're sitting there thinking, oh my God, like I wonder what, what I look like right now. I wonder like what people are thinking of me right now. like. How am I being perceived? Well, babe, sorry to break it to you. You are not the center of attention. No one is looking at you because everyone is wondering the same thing. Everyone is saying, how am I being perceived right now? How are people looking at me right now? So if everyone's doing that, then no one's actually looking at you. Anyway, that's like a spark notes version of the TED talk. I actually woke up at 11 and I almost finished editing last weekend's vlog. And I was just like reading the comments of that vlog and someone said can you give us an update on college college is good like school wise i'm like finally getting a grasp on like what homework assignments i don't really need to do what lectures i don't really need to like spend that much time on i'm like finally getting a grasp because it is what they true it is what they true it is true what they say about prioritizing in college sometimes like a professor will assign a chapter but then she'll go on to say like i will not ask anything that's not mentioned in lectures so then it's like okay then i don't need to do the fucking reading if you're only going to ask questions on the lecture so you only need to pay attention in the lecture so my workload has decreased which is so nice you know how everyone says New York is always go, go, go. It's all about the hustle, all this, all that. Yeah, it is, that is true. Everyone is always go, go, go. Just because everyone else is always out and like always on the go doesn't mean that you have to be. Like go at your own pace, your own tempo. This is not a choreography. We are not all dancing together. Yeah, nice in it. This literally looks straight out of a movie. This is crazy that like, this is life. Anyway, I am taking a break from walking because my shin splints are starting to kick in and that's not good. So I literally have to take breaks in between my walks so that my shins can rest. The weather is 20 degrees Celsius, which I think is like 60s or like 65. It's not cold. I'm honestly sweating like with this turtleneck and this jacket but it's fine I'm walking again I had to get up but the street is so adorable hey we're at this um, cafe called outro I come here quite often I'm with Mandy hey vlog hey this is my lavender latte this is Amanda's banana pudding, Sorry. and this is my hot water, because I'm going to put this in it. I got my waffle. Wow, this looks way too That's good. you pause the conversation <laughs> Amanda's debriefing me on her night last night. It literally smells 
like don't grow up. Like it's vile. It smells vile. We're at the place to get tooth gems. <laughs> We're getting tooth gems right now. You. I. water so we're going there we're like hunter gatherers going to where the water is we just have no plans we're not hunter -gatherers. i mean we like didn't we're just sightseeing brooklyn yeah i've not been to this area but let me show you around it gives like downtown la fashion district vibes definitely that is that is how i would describe brooklyn if you've been to la like this is what the fashion district looks like we literally walked into a mini golf place but we're like by the water Let's go over there. Fuck the mini golf. So we found this bench right in front of the water. I brought these like self reflection cards from We're Not Really Strangers. I just shoved them in my bag. So we're gonna have a little moment and talk for real. And you will be here with us. Who intimidates me? Why do they intimidate me? Hot men. <laughs> Pretty boys intimidate me. I think just like girls with good style intimidate me. Guys, I don't know. I think I, I, I established my superiority over hot men. <laughs> See, no, not me. Amanda sticks to the medium ugly. Medium ugly, bruh. Stay right here. I go here. for her. really unattractive men because they have the best personality. What do I have to offer in a romantic relationship? <laughs> jack shit. I'm literally the least romantic person you've ever seen. Like I have jack shit to offer in the romance department. No, no, no. Like not what what not romantic oh, thing do you have to offer? What do I have to offer romantically? Um like no verbal no. abuse. <laughs> Okay, so I found out that the reason why I like psychoanalyze people besides from like my obsession with psych is that like I wish for a person to understand me just as much as I understand that. But like just someone to take the time and like make the effort to like the way I like look at things and like how I would like perceive something. That's why I'm so comfortable being vulnerable with you and Jack because like you guys understand like how I work. Right. And so like when I say something, like I know I'm not gonna be judged for it by you guys because you it's, know it's that it's you. just the way I operate. <laughs> what are three things I love most about myself today? Today. Today. I like my lip color. I love that I got up and got out of bed because I wasn't planning on it. Okay, cool. I love the way that fall makes me feel. And how does it make you feel? And I love that I woke up in a good mood this morning. After even my shitty after night. yeah, after even after shitty having night. a shitty night. Right, and I'm really happy that I woke up in a good mood. Honestly, I'm so happy that I I like woke up and I told myself the night before that I wasn't going to just sit in bed like for hours. So I woke up and like I went straight to the bathroom, brushed my teeth, washed my face, and then I just started editing. Mm -hmm. Like that's like the first so thing I did. You were productive. Yeah. All Let right. me tell you guys something. Every morning on the weekends, <laughs> every morning I will wake up to a. <laughs> lovely spam of text. Nil doesn't text in paragraphs. She will text in single lines and many of them. So many different thoughts that have nothing to do with each other but she texts me and it's always chaotic <laughs> and she gets up at the butt crack of dawn for no reason. Like she is always awake. Okay by butt crack of dawn Amanda's referring to 10 a.m. Yeah. That's Amanda's psychotic. <laughs> anyway so um she'll like text me and she'll be like wake up wake up or it'll be like we're doing this, get up, like meet me here, we're going to brunch. And like every morning, and I look at it and I laugh, and when she does that, my day is always better. Oh, no. But it's never like a, it's never like a sweet, like good morning. It's always like, a, no, we're going here now, get up. Yeah. And then, and then there'll be calls too. <laughs> no, it's usually hello, and then it's call me when you wake up, and then you just don't, I don't get a response. So then I'm just like, okay, I'm not gonna wait for the phone call to tell her what we're doing. I'm just gonna tell her what we're doing. Yeah, there are like, there, if you like swipe to the side, you can see like the, the time interval. <laughs> 
When do I feel most productive? What time is it usually? Am I alone or with others? When I wake up early, I feel productive. During the day, like, I don't feel productive once the night. Oh my god, no. When I have an assignment and I'm like passionate about it and I'm like going through it and <laughs> yeah. getting that shit done, I'm like, yeah, like I'm doing that. I also like, okay, here's the thing that's helped me. Like I literally romanticize doing work so that like when it's time to do it, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna do work. Yeah. Like, no, that's a good way to think about it. And then also, you're like looking forward yeah, and like, to doing your schoolwork. I I've never thought about it like that, but I'll start. No, it honestly helps and like the reason why I, I always text Amanda being like, do you want to go to a cafe and work with me? She'll be like, no, I want to stay in bed. But like when I go out to a cafe to do work, everyone else is doing the same thing. What are you going to do? Not work? Like just sit there? Like, it pushes you to work because everyone around you is working. Or like when we were doing like pop and shop and shit for that. Oh yeah. That was that like, was productive. like even though that was low key so stressful, I like, that was one I of the best really moments good. of my time, yeah. like life. Like I really like that. <laughs> what is it? Oh my God, my camera's dying. Back in her, back in our hood. We left Brooklyn. We just got off the subway and okay, we're walking to my dorm. So we're gonna go out to Little Sister at 8 p.m. We're gonna meet at Sarah's apartment. So until then, I'm gonna go home, like grab my clothes that I'm gonna wear tonight, and then and then she's coming. Find over. a place to eat. Yeah, I saw. Uh -huh. So cute. That's disgusting. Wow. Sorry he was too good looking for you. Okay, bye. I went to my dorm. I like picked up a bag of shit. A bag of my shit that I need for tonight. And now we're going to Amanda's dorm. She's gonna sneak me up. I'm her little sneaky thing. We gonna try. And okay. then, and then we're gonna go to Sarah's after that. There you are. Mm. We're yeah. in Amanda's dorm now. So look at her view. She has a nice view. Cute, innit? We're now at Sarah's. <laughs> it's a six flight walk up. Yum. It's been two and I'm huffing. She's taking her sweet time, <laughs> but why not? You know, and we're then, in no rush, right? Yeah, she's absolutely like none. And then we're gonna, I have to go back to Amanda's dorm and like pick up her sh my shit from her and then go I have home. To go my <laughs> 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 oh, fuck no. You can't. Oh, fuck no. You can't. Ah. 